In a transformative move to strengthen NATO's unmanned aerial capabilities, Denmark has partnered with US-based Aerovironment to establish a European Center for NATO Drone Operations at Hans Christian Andersen Airport in Odense. On June 18, 2025, AV and UAS Denmark signed a Memorandum of Understanding, designating the UAS Denmark Test Center as a pivotal hub for uncrewed aircraft systems demonstrations, operational training, and joint exercises. Building on a February 2025 framework agreement with the Danish Ministry of Defense, Acquisition, and Logistics Organization, this initiative underscores Denmark's emergence as a frontline NATO state and a catalyst for defense innovation. The center is poised to enhance intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, addressing critical security challenges in the Baltic Sea region and beyond. The Odense facility provides a cutting-edge platform for NATO allies to test, validate, and integrate advanced UAS technologies. Aerovironment, a global leader in unmanned systems, gains privileged access to beyond visual line-of-sight airspace and state-of-the-art testing infrastructure. This enables live demonstrations and field validation of AV's Avacore Autonomy Software and Spotter Edge Computer Vision Platform, accelerating UAS deployment timelines within Denmark and fostering interoperability across NATO forces. The center supports multi-domain operations, counter UAS strategies, and integrated sensor-to-shooter workflows, aligning with NATO's evolving operational doctrines. By facilitating real-world training and experimentation, the facility enhances coalition readiness, drawing on lessons from the war in Ukraine, where drones have reshaped modern warfare. Denmark's long-standing partnership with Aerovironment strengthens the center's foundation. Since 2012, the Danish Army has operated the RQ-20 Puma tactical drone, upgrading to the Puma AE-2 variant in 2016. In February 2025, Denmark finalized a landmark 10-year procurement program for AV's Jump 20 vertical takeoff and landing UAS, valued at over $600 million. With a 14-hour endurance and multi-payload capacity, the Jump 20 will bolster ISR missions across Denmark's strategically vital regions, including Arctic deployments and maritime surveillance. Deliveries are scheduled to begin in 2025, cementing Denmark's unmanned operational footprint. The Odense Center will serve as a critical testing and training ground for these systems, ensuring crew certification, coalition-level tactics development, and multinational integration trials. The center's significance extends beyond aerial drones, complementing Denmark's broader defense modernization efforts. In March 2025, the Danish Ministry of Defense allocated 725 million kroner, or $110 million, to establish a military drone testing center at the same location aiming to train approximately 100 Danish military personnel as drone operators by 2026. Furthermore, Denmark deployed four sail drone Voyager unmanned surface vehicles in the Baltic and North Seas for a three-month trial starting June 16, 2025. These U.S.-built sea drones enhance maritime surveillance, safeguarding critical undersea infrastructure like pipelines and cables amid concerns over suspected Russian sabotage. By integrating aerial and maritime unmanned systems, Denmark is pioneering a multi-domain defense strategy that enhances NATO's regional security posture. Geopolitically, the Odense Center responds to escalating tensions in Northern Europe, particularly with Russia. Denmark's maritime corridors, including the Oresund and Great Belt, are vital to NATO's logistics and deterrence strategies in the Baltic Sea. Russian naval deployments and hybrid activities, such as suspected sabotage of undersea infrastructure, have prompted Denmark to strengthen its naval force structure and invest in advanced surveillance vessels. The AV partnership enhances these efforts by providing agile, combat-tested aerial assets that augment maritime domain awareness and ensure rapid response capabilities in contested environments. 
The center's strategic location and robust infrastructure position it as a cornerstone for European UAS research, joint mission rehearsals, and defense innovation. The establishment of the ODEN Center also reflects Denmark's ambition to lead in defense technology development. By fostering collaboration between public and private sectors, the facility serves as a defense technology incubator, supporting sovereign innovation and enabling the export of co-developed systems to NATO partners. The center's infrastructure allows for rapid prototyping and testing under authentic European airspace constraints facilitating the development of next-generation autonomous systems. For Aerovironment, the partnership offers a strategic foothold in Europe's defense ecosystem, leveraging Denmark's frontline position to drive technological advancements and operational readiness. The collaboration also creates economic opportunities, generating high-skilled jobs in Odens and reinforcing Denmark's role as a hub for cutting-edge defense industries. As NATO allies increase investments in unmanned and AI-enabled capabilities, the Oden Center emerges as a force multiplier. It enables coalition-wide systems integration, accelerates crew training, and supports the development of standardized UAS tactics across member states. The facility's emphasis on interoperability ensures that NATO forces can seamlessly operate diverse UAS platforms in joint missions, enhancing deterrence and response capabilities. Moreover, the center serves as a scalable model for future public-private defense cooperation, demonstrating how strategic partnerships can address complex security challenges. Denmark's investment in unmanned systems, both aerial and maritime, positions it as a leader in shaping NATO's technological future. The global security landscape, marked by hybrid threats and great power competition, underscores the urgency of the ODENS initiative. Denmark's proactive response to regional challenges, including Russian shadow maritime activities, highlights its commitment to NATO's collective defense. The center's ability to integrate aerial and maritime ISR platforms creates a comprehensive surveillance network, bolstering situational awareness in the Baltic Sea and Arctic regions. By combining Aerovironment's combat-proven technologies with Denmark's strategic vision, the partnership enhances NATO's ability to counter emerging threats, from hybrid attacks to conventional aggression. In conclusion, the European Center for NATO Drone Operations in Odense marks a pivotal advancement in alliance capabilities. It strengthens Denmark's role as a frontline NATO state, fosters innovation, and enhances regional security at a critical juncture. For Aerovironment, the center represents a strategic expansion into Europe's defense fabric, aligning with the growing demand for unmanned solutions. As Denmark continues to integrate advanced technologies and deepen NATO collaboration, the Odense facility stands as a testament to its leadership in building a more resilient and responsive alliance.